Microphone test. Hello, I'm Ole Langland. Can you hear my deep, deep voice down there? Is there anybody out there? No? Hello. Hi, I'm Ole Langland, and welcome to my new FAQ video sponsored by myself. Hey Ola, I want to buy a Laney Ironheart 60 watt, but the cabinet is a 1x12. This gonna affect the tone? Or buy a cabinet 2x12, it's a better opinion for this amp. What's, <laughs> what's your, sorry, what's your, what's for you the best combination? Sorry for the very bad English. Your, your English is perfectly fine, the important thing is that I understand what you're asking. And uh, whenever someone is asking me about cabinets in general, if they should buy a 1x12 or a 2x12, the easy choice is to buy a 2x12, because it's just gonna sound a lot better with a 2x12. I mean, the size of the cabinet, you're getting way more bass. It's just gonna be a lot more fun to play guitar rather than playing through a 1x12. A 1x12 is fine, but I mean, more is more, okay? Hey Ola, how many takes do you usually make when recording your playthroughs? I feel like I usually do too many takes when I film myself playing. Well, it kind of depends uh, of the song, basically, or if it's a solo. But usually I just do the takes that, for like for rhythm playing, I just practice a bit before and I just record the, uh, the camera angles with the rhythm playing. I might fuck up, I just change the angle <laughs> and use another camera angle. And uh, for so, so it's usually like if I do four takes of video, those are usually the, the takes I do for rhythm. But then for solo takes, I could go on for maybe 10 or 20 different takes before I decide for one that's actually good for the video. It's kind of funny how you see all, you know, everyone's uploading videos to Facebook and YouTube and it's always the perfect take. So you always get the image that someone is perfect all the time. I'm not perfect. So do not worry that you have to do retakes. Who the f cares? I mean, that's what happens in the studio anyway. When you record an album, you don't worry about the first 50 takes. You take the 51 take that is the best for the song or for the album. Okay. What all should we do as fundamental edits on distorted track and clean track to sound more awesome? I don't know if you're meaning like if you cut up pieces or whatever you do, but uh, in the sense of, you know, removing silence or stuff like that, I do not remove silence from the guitar track or I don't cut like the tails super hard or anything like that. I like to keep the guitar to sound like it's breathing more and I, if you like really edit the, the guitars and you know cut away all the the parts that are supposed to be quiet I think it becomes very static and uh, very mechanical sounding and that's not what I want to have with my sound it works with other bands but that's not what I personally prefer and uh, regarding edits like um, I guess if you copy paste like parts or whatever, it's up to you. I, I think as long as it, as you cannot hear that it's been copied or whatever too many times, I don't really care. So it's up to you. That's a vague kind of answer for you. Ola, Ola, when you go to a football match and the crowd starts doing the Ola, do you feel exploited, sexually harassed or like a boss? Please answer. People from the internet want to know. <laughs> Okay, so for you who uh, do not understand what he's talking about, I guess he's Spanish because hola in Spanish means the wave, right? So I guess that's what he's referring to. And uh, the easy answer is that I don't go to football matches. Hey hola, I have a big problem and I need your help. I am buying studio monitors and now which do you have? And what do you think of the JBL LSR? So I'm currently using the Dinaudio LED or LUD 8, sorry. And uh, I think I've answered this question before, but in my opinion, I think the having a pair of monitors that you know is more important than buying the best of what's out there. So uh, I was really happy with the Yamaha HS8s that I had before these. And uh, they're not really that expensive, so I mean, those were perfectly fine. I still have the subwoofer down here and uh, I got these Donadio because they wanted me to try them out and I, I like them too. So uh, yeah, it's up to you. I mean, for me personally, 
the monitors are not that important for mixing it's more important to know how they sound like if you like the sound and uh, as long as it doesn't sound shit in your car I think you're gonna be fine Hello Ola I'm a guitarist that really loves gear more than the aspect of playing so I have started to think about becoming a guitar tech or roadie do you have any tips on what you like in your roadie guitar tech and how to become one? hmm well uh, shit I don't know I've been, I, I mean I'm so used to setting up my own guitars that I don't even let the guitar tech set up my guitar okay for instance we have this one guy that has been working for us he's uh, Kent who's also the guitar tech for Meshuggah yeah 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah and uh, to be honest the guitar tech side of things for me it's not as important as long as you're a really good guy or a funny dude that I like to be with and that I can discuss with so of course it's very good that you have the guitar setup thing going for you but also you need to be a super awesome guy and Kent is a super awesome guy yeah yeah, the, uh, yeah. so if you want to become a roadie be a good person okay are you going to be at NAMM this year and could you get me a pass I'm not going to NAMM this year I'm touring with The Haunted in Japan at the same time and no I won't give you a pass hey Ola would you start a guitar solo contest on your channel would be awesome this is something that I, I'm like dreading having a guitar contest I did like a mixing contest and to be honest oh man it's not it's just a hassle so I'm not going to do any guitar contest not for now at least it's just a it's just a very big hassle for everyone involved and the, at the end of the day some people are pissed some people get happy and it's just like people can't handle a guitar contest in my opinion so I'd rather just give away a guitar in a lottery instead hey Ola ever thought about putting out feared albums on vinyl I've given it some thought the problem is that it costs a lot of money to print vinyls and I do not think I can uh, sport the numbers or sell the amount that is needed to even print vinyls and it's just you know the shipping is awkward it's you know a really big format and it's very fragile too so it's not at this at the level that I'm at I don't think vinyls is uh, is good for me I mean I probably lose a lot of money for doing vinyls so sorry not that this time maybe if you guys went out and bought more music and supported more I'm just kidding <laughs> ah but do you pee in the shower I do but I figured there's enough water rushing down the drain that it just doesn't matter right oh god please say yes so this is a follow-up question to the last FAQ question if you uh, took a dump in the shower or whatever it was if I took a dump in the shower or, or the problematics of needing to take a dump when you have to shower or whatever it was anyway I've tried peeing in the shower and it's just not my thing it's no it's I tried it but it's not, not no I mean the toilet is just over there just go there okay so no I do not pee in the shower you <laughs> disgusting human being do you always mic up a cab and crank it or do you rely on the torpedo live I usually if it if it's an amplifier I just use the SM58 through the cabinet or if sometimes I use the torpedo load to be able to use an impulse in the Logic Pro X and I mean it depends sometimes I do sometimes I do not most of the times I record with the SM58 and uh, if I use the torpedo reload I disclose it in the video I think hi Ola what where is your dog Busse and would you like to have your signature pickups so in the early part of my video making you might have seen that I had a dog and uh, this family had a dog it was a miniature bull terrier and uh, called Busse and uh, he was a wonderful dog and uh, unfortunately he had um, a condition where he had a really big um, heart issue which basically put him in a, a position where you cannot operate or perform surgery on him unfortunately he had a lot of problems that eventually came to the point where we had to take the decision to to put him down 
and uh, or just ha let him have all these problems and just let him live. It's probably like the hardest decision I've ever done in my life. And even if I'm, even if I I think I made the right choice for him, I, I miss him real bad. And would you like to have your signature pickups? No, I'm not interested in signature pickups because it's uh, pickups is something that I um, it's it's something that I change my opinion about all the time. Now I've actually been stuck with the same pickup for a couple of years, so maybe I'm lost on that one. But you know, I think it's a lot cooler because everyone and their mom is basically releasing signature pickups, and uh, I think it's cooler to make a pickup that is exclusive for the Solar guitars, for instance, that you cannot get anywhere else. So I think that's a lot cooler. I'm not interested in signature pickups, not right now at least. So uh, yeah, that's the answer to that question. All right, thank you so much for watching uh, this FAQ video and uh, Merry Christmas too. It's just a couple of days until Christmas. And uh, if you want to know what I'm using to uh, record these videos, check the description of this video and um, also, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comment sections of this video because I'm not checking the older FAQ videos, okay? If you're not sure if this is the latest FAQ, go check out the playlist just to make sure so I do not miss your question. All right, okay, that ended on a more serious note that I, uh, than I, uh, that I wanted, but uh, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you guys. Please keep asking those questions. Merry Christmas, okay?